and now we can see that we actually like have this office in the background it did change a bit with the chair here but we can still see the chair here to the right it doesn't really segmentate that out um, good enough but we can see my hands here if i'm moving them around it actually like segmentates them out fairly good especially if they're inside the body here hey guys and welcome to a new video in this computer vision tutorial in this video here we're going to create a new video with media pipe so they have actually released a new version here or like a new machine learning solution for selfie segmentation so we can actually like change the background and we can do segmentation of like persons selfies uh, and so on in the images then we can actually like lay those selfie segmentations on top of some background images or like blur out the background behind us so it's really exciting we can do use it for a lot of different kind of things like for example in, in virtual meetings and so on but first of all remember to join the discord server i'll link to it down in the description here you can join the channel chat us about computer vision deep learning ai and so on you can also become a member of the channel for a small amount of fee everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel also if you have some problems in your own projects and you will need some guidance i can get you in the right direction and so on if you're a member of the channel here so thank you guys First of all, before we're going to jump into the code and I'll show you how we can set up this selfie segmentation with different kind of uh, background images. I want to give a special shout out here to the guys that is actually like members of the channel. I'm helping now out with some of the, pro the projects they have and with, if they have some problems, I can guide them into the right direction and so on. And a special shout out to Audiovasca for massive channel support uh, here. I really appreciate it guys. So now we're jumping into Visual Studio code here. I'm going to show you how we can actually like set it up. So again, as all the other videos in this media pipe tutorial, we're going to import CV2 so we can actually load in the images from our webcam. We have the media pipe here. We're just going to import that. It can be pip installed. We're also going to import NumPy and time here so we can actually time how long it takes to do this selfie segmentation. So it is actually a really fast algorithm that runs um, is the same as all the other media pipe solutions, machine learning solutions. So if you want some really fast uh, deep learning or like uh, AI models that you want to do like facial facial detection um, post detection of all the different kind of like areas um, on, a, on a body selfie segmentation after detection and so on definitely use media pipe I have videos about all of these things um, on the, in the tutorial and on this channel so first of all here we're going to set up our drawing tools so again we're just having MP drawer we go into the solutions and then we're just going to have the draw utilities so we can actually like draw and visualize what is going on when we're doing this selfie segmentation. Then we're going to create this uh, an, an, an instance of this object here. So we have the MP solutions, and then we can just go in here and, and get the selfie segmentation. And then we'll go around here and actually like specify a color. So if you just want to have a specific color in the background, we can specify here, and then we can just apply that to our mask that we get out after we pass our images through uh, this model here from MediaPipe. We're also going to show you some examples how we can blur out the background and also if you have some images that you actually want in your background and you're in the foreground i'm also going to show you a couple of samples uh, of that so now we're going to open up a video capture here uh, so this will be the served element on my computer so we're just going to have this capture here with my webcam and then we're going to load in the individual images from the webcam when we actually like running our program so now we need to set up this with selfie segmentation so we're going to open up this instance and then we go in and get this selfie segmentation set up some different kind of model selections so we're just going to take the serif model selection here which is just like a general uh gen the general model if you choose you can also have a one here so you can either choose zero and one and this is if you're out in some environment or like in nature uh out in nature you should select model one but the default one is just zero and we're just going to go with that one so we're going to open that up with um here as the selfie segmentation so we can then use that uh, later on so first of all here we're just going to set our background image equal to none we're going to use that later on in the code so now we just have a while loop here that is just running as long as our webcam is open then we're going to read in an it with like an image from a webcam with cap dot read then we will store the image from a webcam in this image variable that we can then use to actually like pass through our machine learning model from media pipe so if it is not successfully uh, like if it can't read in the images from a webcam it will just print out that we're ignoring the empty frame then we're going to start the timer so we can actually like time how long it takes to run this media pipe solution here for selfie segmentation then first of all we need to convert our images so when we actually like load it in with OpenCV, it, it uses BGR format but we actually need to convert it to RGB before we're passing it through the machine learning solutions from media pipe uh, because these uh, those models actually like use RGB values for their call channels. 
So we're going to just use CVT color here, CVT color here to actually like convert that from PGR to RGB. And then we're going to flip the image here um, as well. Then we can go down here just for to improve performance. We're just going to have this image that flags and then we set the writable here equal to false. So we will not write to our image when we actually like pass it through a model. Um, it will be read only. So it will speed up the process and performance when we pass it through our neural network or like a deep learning model, deep learning model. So now we're going to go down here and actually just pass the image through the model. It will store, uh, it will actually like store the results in this results variable that we can then use later on to actually like get the segmentation mask. So we see what does it actually like segmentate out in the image. And ideally it should be selfie or like the person in the image, it should segmentate those out. So here we're just going to have our selfie underscore segmentation. So this will just be the object or like the instance of an object that we have. Then we're going to call this method dot process. And then we're just passing the image that we want to process with our selfie segmentation model. So this is basically just a four pass of our image through the model. We will store the results or the output from our machine learning model here to the results variable. Then we can go down here and actually like show the segmentation mask that we get out from the model. We just go into results and then we can just take the segmentation mask uh, directly here and then we're just going to insure it so we can actually like see what are we segmentating out in our image. We said writable here uh, equal to true again for image. So now we can both read and write for it again because then we need to convert it back here from RGB to BGR so we can actually like display it with OpenCV and this imshow um, in show function here uh, so we can see what is going on in the image. Then to draw the self segmentation here on the background, we need to like, we can some kind of like improve the segmentation here as we can read around the boundaries and we can consider applying a joint literal filter to the result segmentation mask um, with the image. So the segmentation mask that we just created up here from the results. But right now we're just going to set up some condition here. So we're going to stack the segmentation mask here uh, with NumPy and then we're going to do that three times. Uh, the axis here is minus one and then we set up a threshold value here so this is just the federal values for the boundaries and how our segmentation mask is actually like going to be. So this will just be some condition that we set up um, so we can actually like segmentate out or like determine is this actually like a, a selfie or like is, is this the background that we need to change to, to an image or like blur it out or something like that. So we can play around with this uh, parameter here or like this threshold value here if you don't get good enough results on your own computer or your own uh, webcam. So here we can also go down here, the background can be customized. So we have some different kind of options. We can both just choose one color as we can see down here, but we also have another option where we can load in an image where we actually like want to have an image in the background. It could be office, beach, and so on, as I'm going to show you. We can also blur the input image here by just applying image filtering from OpenCV. So we can actually just go in, use Gaussian blur to blur out the background. Um, so we'll be in the foreground and then the background will be, will be blurred out um, by just using this Gaussian blur here from OpenCV. So if the background build, uh, image here is none, then we can go down here and process it before we actually like go down and create this output image, which will be a combination of our background and a foreground segmentation or like our selfie segmentation uh, foreground. So down here, we just have these different kind of options. We're just going to start with the first one. So we're just going to have our background image equal to our BG, BG color and they will just be gray as we specified up at the top of this program. So then our final output image here will be, uh, we are going to use NP where. So where in the image is actually like this condition here that we set up. So we're just going to take this mask um, from our uh, actual like image and then we're going to have our background image and then we're just going to apply that on top of each other. So we actually like get um, our foreground and our background images. So we'll, we'll have our selfie and then we'll have the background in the background, uh, of course. Mm. So this will be our output image that we can just go down here and directly show with OpenCV. We're going to end the timer here, calculate number frames per seconds, and then we're just going to print out or display the number of frames per seconds that we get by running all these commands here or like these algorithms here where we pass our images through the model from MediaPipe so we can actually like see how good it performs and how fast it actually like runs on just uh, standard common hardware. Uh, and in this example here, I'm just using a standard CPU. Down here, we're just checking if we hit a key here, like if we hit escape on our keyboard, it will just terminate the program. It will it release our capture and it will just terminate the program. So now we will actually run the program here with the great background. So now we will do our segmentation. We will do self segmentation and then we'll apply a, a great background. 
then we can try with the with the different kind of images that we can read in and, and use those as background instead. And we can also try to deploy here afterwards. But now we're just going to run the program so we can see what is actually like going on. So first of all here, we're just printing out the number of frames per second. I'll just comment that out since we're actually like all, already displaying it on the image. So we're just going to comment that out. And then we run the program here again. We can see here that we're just setting it up for CPU. We also imp show here our mask. So this will actually be the output from our neural network that we can see up here to the left. And then to the right here, we can see the final image where we actually have our segmentation mask. And then we apply the background with this np.where. So we're using NumPy to find these differences. And then we can see when I'm moving around here in the frame, um, it, is, it is actually like tracking it fairly good here over in the segmentation mask. We can see like, this, all these white pixels here are actually like we can we can apply some optimization to this to, to these values here. So we can just go in take take them here and say like if the values are less than uh, 250, we just consider them as zero, and that will probably remove some of the chair here in the background because these values here would actually like be maybe like 120 or something like that. And these white pixels here, which is exactly me, we can see like the boundaries here at the hair is pretty good. Also the shoulders. Um, are pretty good, but we, we see some flickering and, and it's not really smooth here in the background uh, for the chair. So this is actually like a really good uh, segmentation of, uh, of selfies or like faces or just persons in general in the image. And then we just apply this great background here. We get around 100 frames per second. So this is not a problem at all running on common hardware. And we can even use this on, on, on like uh, mobile phones, like smartphones and so on. And also in browsers. So another example I want to show is actually just these other different types of backgrounds that we can use. We can also play around with this parameter up here. We can try to set it to point, point 0.2 and see if that actually like improves our performance so we get better boundaries and we don't get this chair here um, as a selfie as well in the segmentation. So now we just go down here and use another image. So first of all here, we just need to have our im read. We read in an image, it will just be an office that we want to use as the background. Then we need to resize the image to, this, to the same image size as the image that we get in from the webcam so we can actually like match those to each other. That is necessary when we're going to use this np.where function uh, down here to generate our output image. So again, we're just going to run this program. It will open up everything and now we can see that we actually like have this office in the background. It did change a bit with the chair here, but we can still see the chair here to the right. It doesn't really segmentate that out um, good enough. But we see my hands here. If I'm moving them around, it actually like segmentates them out fairly good, especially if they're inside the body here. Um, this is really nice. We can see the background, uh, the office background here in the background of the image. We're segmentating it out. We get really nice boundaries here around the hair. We should definitely try to remove the chair here because this will actually like build really, uh, build really nice um, segmentation of faces, but also just like bodies in general, because we can also see my shoulders and so on. It is not only my face that we're segmentating out, but we see this is pretty good. And we get some really nice boundaries if we're just, if, if we're just able to remove this chair. We're just going to try another image here. So we just comment this out and run the program fast just to show you an, an, another example. It is exactly the same thing that we do. Again, we have the problem with the chair, but the boundaries everywhere is pretty fine. If I move around here in the image frame, Again, my head here, we can see the hair is just perfectly, like the boundaries around the hair and my shoulder is, is just perfectly uh, segmented out when I'm moving around here in the image frame. Uh, again, we can apply some different kind of post-processing techniques uh, to it. But then we like to need to go in and take the values for a segmentation mask because the results here that we get from the actual, like, uh, from the neural network here is only readable. So we can, can write or we can change these segmentation masks. So we have to do a copy of that and then do post processing on that. So the last example I want to show is the image here where we're just blurring out the background. So we just apply this Gaussian blur to the image. We just apply some filter. We can just try it with, with some other different kind of values. Maybe go for 99 and see how that plays out. We're going to run the program. We're just having this Gaussian blur on an image. And then we can see here that if I'm moving around in, in, in the image frame, it actually like stores me in the background. But we can see if I just sit here, we have blurred out the background and it actually like segmentates it out pretty good. We can try to increase the value here to maybe like, uh, let's just go for 33. Oops, 
33 again we're just going to run the program and now we should be blurred more out in the background as we can see it even changes the color when we're applying uh, this huge of a filter here uh, we can use all the other different kind of filters that we have in OpenCV and so on so you can just play around with it but the cool thing is definitely when we're just using these background images as we can know if, if you have for example been in a zoom meeting or something like that we have these background images i just need to calm this out here as well so this is really nice it can be used for a lot of different kind of things you can play around with it try to optimize it use your own backgrounds and so on so thank you guys for watching this video here and remember to the subscribe button and bell notification under the video and also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future it just really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. I'm currently also doing this computer vision tutorial where we're talking about like basic image operations as we did in this video here. But we're also talking about camera calibration, stereo vision, how we can use that to get a lot of different kind of information in the images about the depth, create a po po like point clouds, do point cloud processing and so on. So if you're interested in one of those tutorials, I'll link to it up here or else I'll just see you next video guys. Bye for now.